The race to 270, that's how many votes a candidate needs from the Electoral College to win the presidential election. Here in the District of Columbia, we are allotted three of those votes. Charles Wilson is the chair of the D.C. Democratic Party. This year, we wanted to do something a little different. My name is Jacqueline Echevarria. My name is Barbara Helmick, Meaty Bartnelli. And they are the electors representing D.C. in the Electoral College for the 2020 presidential election. This year, the 100th year anniversary of women, women having the right to vote in this country. Wouldn't it be great if our, all our electors were women? They're not politicians, but everyday citizens. Two of them are essential workers on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic, from working in a grocery store to saving lives as a nurse. Who would have thought a Safeway cashier would be considered you know, essential. I didn't have the luxury to quarantine and stay at home. You know, I came into my job every single day for 14 weeks straight uh, to check in on my team, of which I lead. And Barbara Helmick has fought for several social and environmental issues and is now the program's director at DC Vote. Um, I work to make DC become a state. All three women are hoping to see changes in the areas of education, health care and equality during this next presidential term. Things like that are very important to me because these children that are coming, they're going to be the ones who have to make the decisions for me as a senior citizen coming up. The future is a big reason why this opportunity to cast a ballot in the Electoral College means a lot to these women, but also because of the shoulders each of them stands on of those who came before them. Women generally have to work twice as hard uh, to be taken half as seriously. And so this is really an important wonderful step that the party took and said, let's, this is one of our values. I'm going to walk in there with a huge smile, with my chest up, my head up, knowing that I am getting into good trouble and I am participating in a system that initially was designed not for me, particularly as a woman, and definitely not for me as an African-American.